Hello folks, welcome to my channel. Back with me again with my analysis fit. This time I'll be covering Summer Kaori. She is a free character you can get from a summer event. And this event will have a rerun starting from July 16th. So just the other day she got her special weapon implemented. So I'll be doing the user analysis fit including with her special weapon. Let's start with her skill set. Okay, first her Union Burst deals medium physical damage to enemies in range. The more you hit with the skills, the more the damage increase. Okay, I tried looking around, but there's really no details regarding this increase. But one thing for sure, it's wrecking the arena when you can hit all 5 enemies. Next is her skill 1. Deals small physical damage to enemies in range and inflicts small knockback to an enemy to the front. This skill is also one of the things that makes her so good, but I'll give you more details later. Next our skill 2, gives big physical damage to self and gives medium action speed increase to all allies in range. Action speed buffs, it's never bad. Next our EX skill, it's a passive physical attack up. Okay. From her skill set, obviously enough, she's for fighting multiple targets. Her union burst is just underpowered when there's only one target. That makes her good for fighting bosses with multi-target traits and that also makes her real good in arenas because you can hit 5 targets at max. Next we'll check up on her special weapon. Okay, so her weapon increases physical attack and physical crit. Okay, that's just average. It upgrades skill 1, so with special weapons equipped, now she deals medium physical damage, inflicts big knockdown to enemies in range, and also do notice that the damage increase is quite significant, it's more than double. And additionally, she also inflicts stun to enemies in range. Okay, that's really good. Okay, we'll set up this weapon. And then we'll also upgrade it. Okay, done. Next, we'll take a look at the move set. Just now I told you skill 1 was good, now let's see how good it is. Okay, first, I've never seen any other character knocks back that far. Second, it stuns. The thing about knockback is, after you knock an enemy back, it marches right back to the front. Your front line may move one or two steps ahead, but sometimes it's just not significant. This, however, because it also stuns the targets, look at how many steps our front is taking. It just keeps pushing the enemy to the back. This works in synergy with her Union Burst because with this, she'll be able to hit enemies in the back with her Union Burst. Here, as you can see, she uses her skills a lot. In fact, she uses her skill more than she does normal attacks. And there's this point where she uses her skill 1 2 times in a row. Okay, the enemies are dying. I'll just show you her UV animation. Okay, next we'll do the usual showcase with the EX3 dungeon boss. This time the main purpose is to compare how good she is compared to 6 star Hiyori. We could have met better formation but for a more fair comparison with Hiyori, I want Summer Kaori to be in the third position. That way she would also take damage from the boss, means she will also recover her TP for her union burst. For your information, my Hiyori is at 6 star, rank 17, full equip, and special weapon at level 170. My Summer Kaori is at 4 star, rank 17, full equip, and special weapon at level 30. Okay, let's uh, take a look at how things will turn out. Oh, that's a sanctuary. 
Okay, so here's the damage report. Well, this result is as expected actually, though I do had some hopes. Here, Hiri deals much more damage at quite a long shot. No surprise here. She is a 6 star with a full upgrade. Here, Kauri made 300k damage. Maybe at 5 star and max weapon upgrade, she'll probably make it to 400k. But either way, when it comes to bosses, even multi-target bosses, I guess we have better alternatives. Okay, so we've done some confirmation. When it comes to dealing with multi-target bosses, we have better alternatives. No doubt the best is Muimi, then we have a 6-star Hiyori, and also Sama Ruka. But of course, if you're short of those characters, especially since Muimi is a previous limited and Sama Ruka is also seasonal limited, she is definitely a solid choice. But her main forte is no doubt the arena. She was already good in the arena before, and now her special weapon, busting her AoE knockbacks, is definitely making her better. Or maybe worse if she's on the opponent's side. Okay, last. She's a free character, and she's coming on rerun events starting from July 16th. She's definitely a good character. Be sure you don't miss her. Okay, that will be all for my video this time. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future contents. See ya!